So let's go ahead and dive into the first topic, and that is Google My Business. Now, if you're not really aware of what Google My Business is, it's essentially one of the more underrated marketing tools that are out there. And it, Google My Business is essentially the right hand side. When you go to Google and you do a Google search, and on the right hand side is you'll notice a big listing. Now you're currently looking at on the screen of what my business looks like when it's listed on a Google My Business page. That essentially is the best real estate that you can see on, on Google without having to pay for it or without having to obsess over social media, you know, or not social media, but obsessing over SEO metrics. And so with that listing in particular, it's completely free. All you have to do is claim that account from Google in order to take advantage of showing your website, your phone number, uh, company photos, your logo, all the pertinent information that your business would like to share with the world is found on Google My Business and highly, highly visible on the search page. But the huge upgrade that's coming is the ability to track the phone number or the calls that when people see your listing and they actually click on the phone number to call your business. Now, not all accounts have access to this just yet. It's still in beta, but it's rolling out to all of the different users who currently have a Google My Business page. But it's really, really well worth it. It's one of the more, like I said, one of the more underrated marketing tools that are out there because not only does it kind of act like a business listing, but it also acts as a social media profile that now links with your phone numbers. And so on this graphic, you're actually seeing a list of all of the different call histories that you'll be able to access, if not now in the beta version, but in the future. And you'll be able to see a history of all of those phone calls that are coming in directly through the, the people that are going to Google and doing a branded search, which means they enter in your company name into the Google search bar. And I realistically, you should be showing up there if you've claimed your Google My Business account. Now, if you haven't claimed your account, maybe it's for a reason that, uh, like for myself, I didn't have a Google My Business account until earlier this year because I always assumed that you needed to have an address verification tied to it. And I didn't want I work from home. I don't want people knowing my home address just because they Googled the business name. And so I never set that up. But other businesses, I have set that up for them. And what usually happens if you have a business where you service the customers, where the customers come to you, then what Google will do is once you claim your listing, they will send you out a verification postcard. And then it, you know, it has like a security code on it. And then once you get that postcard in the mail, then you go back into your account and you verify it. And then that's when you can start adding in photos, your website, phone number, all of these different cool tools. And then you're able to get those reviews. You, you can solicit reviews from other people by sending them a link directly to your Google business page. And it's all free. And like I said, you can make posts to it. It's sort of what Google Plus back in the day was supposed to be and it was supposed to evolve into. But now they've taken a lot of those features from your old Google Plus pages and added them directly into your Google My Business page. And like I said, that is prime real estate right on the front page of Google. If somebody is doing a search for your business, ideally you want to show up there on that right hand side. So the ability to have those phone number clicks, be able to, to, to track them within that search page is huge. You're going to be able to see so much different information of, of who is it, who is clicking on that phone number, if they've made their phone, if they've tied their name to that phone number, and then how many times that person has called you or multiple people from that, from maybe that business that have tried to get in touch with you. And that is going to be huge as far as marketing analytics are concerned, because it's free. There's a lot of companies out there that offer sort of a similar service in that respect where you can track phone number clicks. You can't track them from Google though. You can only track them in your marketing material and on your website. So there are additional tracking mechanisms that you can add into your website, even after, you know, sort of privacy concerns have, have arisen, which, you know, rightfully so. But on the flip side, you're still going to be able to see this data. It's just going to be part of your first party data instead of going through a third party, like a cookie list system uh, that the world, 
world of marketing kind of already faces right now. And so it's really, it's going to be a good measure for you to take. If you haven't gone ahead and claimed your account, you need to do so ASAP. I put a link in the show notes so you'll be able to check out and, and make that and claim that listing on Google, both for your business and for your address. And if you have a, a business where you don't service customers within your home, like I do, I work from home, so I don't want people knowing my address directly on you know the, the the Google search engines and even on the Google My Business page, but you can still claim it and just tell Google, hey, I don't service customers here. I service them where they're located and they will still give you that listing so you can take advantage of all of those little perks. So for carriers, for 3PLs, and really any business that's out there, you really need to start. Before you do anything, before you make a website, any kind of other social media profile, getting a Google My Business page should be at the top of your priority list because you can continuously update that page. Google wants you to update that page. And even in the future, you can run advertising advertisements behind that and in order to you know show up a little bit more but it, that's primo real estate that you don't have to pay for at all and you can take advantage of that right hand side search engine results where you are going to have your photos your logo your website phone number and be able to additionally track some of that information whenever somebody is searching for your business. So it's a really, really underrated marketing tool. So I highly advise everybody to go out there and at least claim your Google My Business account. And if you haven't claimed it, or if you already have one, then go into your account and see if you have access to that beta yet. Because if you don't have access now, you're going to get access sooner or later. And that should just be added into your regular reporting in order to make sure that a, that, that your phone number is being clicked. Maybe there's some, some things that you could optimize on that Google My Business page. And then if they're being clicked, who's answering the phone and who is addressing those phone calls and who is picking up the phone whenever that user is coming to your site? Uh, so big, big update. I think that it's going to, to really go a long way for a lot of businesses. So that is the tip of the day is to make sure you have that Google My Business page set up and optimized and then go on and check and see if you have that beta access because it's really going to be beneficial.